Maggie Reedy here with another EFT tapping video for you. And today we are working on releasing the third dimensional paradigm from your field and embracing the fifth dimensional paradigm. Maggie Reedy here, Conscious Mindset and Business Coach and founder of the Wealth Consciousness Movement and the Global Online Business Academy. And today I'm doing another really powerful EFT tapping session for you. This is about releasing yourself from the 3D paradigms and being able to embrace and embody the fifth dimension. So do you really understand what that means? The fifth dimension is all about your state of being. It is about raising your vibration, your consciousness, your frequency to be able to stay in that elevated state. And the importance of this is that everything is so much easier when you are living from the space of the fifth dimension. So, so many people are kind of waiting for this magical transition into the fifth dimension. I don't believe that's what it's about. The fifth dimension is actually a choice that you can make right now. So the difficulty in that choice is that we have been living in a 3D paradigm for decades, for as long as you've been alive, but almost all of it, you've been living in a 3D paradigm, if not all of it. Our systems are third dimensional. Our education is third dimensional. Our way of being, our lifestyles are very third dimensional. And our belief systems are based in the third dimensional paradigm. So in order to release that and be able to embrace the fifth dimension, that is a very big step, particularly for the ego. It freaks out going, oh, what am I leaving behind? There's this fear of loss, fear of change, fear of the unknown that comes with embracing this new transition. Here's the, here's the reward though. Every risk, risk comes with a reward. And yes, there is a risk. There is a risk that you'll need to leave behind some of the stuff that you've become very attached to in the third dimension. The beautiful thing is that in the fifth dimension, a lot of those needs and desires and, and the fears and the doubts just kind of melt away. It is so much easier to be when you are in the fifth dimensional state. Now, if you jump into the fifth dimensional state and manage to embrace it and you find you don't like it, like, I don't know why you wouldn't, then you can always choose to shift back to the third dimension. You have choice in this in this equation it's not like the red pill blue pill equation where once you've taken the red pill you can never go back to the blue pill it's just not possible um this is you have choice in everything that you do you have choice so why would you want to embrace the fifth dimension well the fifth dimension is filled with abundance prosperity wealth freedom happiness joy health conscious relationships, spiritual connection, um, a sense of inner peace and uh, being content and knowing, a deep sense of knowing that all is well, that everything is going to be okay. While chaos unfolds around you, you are like the eye of the storm. That's what my experience of the fifth dimension is. And I am only really just um, beginning to fully explore this amazing and magical way of being in the world. So if you're ready to really embrace the fifth dimension and release your attachment to those third dimensional paradigms, then get ready because today's EFT tapping session is going to help you to do just that. So when you think about, and you may not even know what the fifth dimension is kind of all about yet, because you haven't experienced it on a lasting, um, in a lasting way yet. Now, if you remember experiencing a sense of joy and laughter and unbridled happiness, then think of that as the 5D. That is the 5D experience. Am I always joyful and uplifted and just happy, 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 happy? No, but um, that experience of that inner joy, that inner happiness, 
that is definitely something that I can equate to the fifth dimensional way of being. It is much easier to achieve those states from the fifth dimensional experience because you're, you're lighter, your vibration, your frequency is lighter. It is closer to that higher level of consciousness. It is closer to your God consciousness state. So let's get tapping. When you think of the third dimension and the fifth dimension, how attached do you feel to the third dimension? Let's go in that direction. So on a scale of zero to 10, how embedded and attached do you feel in the third dimension? 10 being that you are locked into the third dimension, there is no wiggle room, and zero being that, no, I'm fully 5D, baby. I'm there all the way. I'm living it. I'm breathing it. I approach everything from the state of the fifth dimension. Okay. Take note of that number. Write it down if uh, if you can. So you can come back and you can then check in later to see what's shifted. So start by tapping on the side of the hand and repeat after me. Even though I am still attached to the third dimensional paradigms, I deeply and completely love and accept all of me. Even though there is a big part of me that is still living from the third dimension. I deeply and completely love, honour and accept all of me right now. Even though a big part of me still feels stuck in the third dimension, I deeply and completely love, honour and accept who I am and how I feel and I choose to be ready to release my attachment to the third dimension and embrace and embody living from the fifth dimension. Okay, tapping on the inside of the eye, let's go. I transmute, transform and transcend. All attachment to the third dimension. I transmute, transform and transcend. All attachment to 3D paradigms. I transmute, transform and transcend. Living from a state of the third dimension. I transmute, transform and transcend. All attachment to 3D paradigms. I transmute, transform and transcend the 3D state of being. I transmute, transform and transcend all attachment to 3D paradigms. I transmute, transform and transcend the 3D state of being. I transmute, transform and transcend. Living in the third dimensional reality. Okay, deep breath. Let it out, let go of all that old 3D energy. Another deep breath. Let it out. Wow. Are you feeling that shift? Pretty cool, huh? We're going to do another tapping around on releasing the third dimension from our field. 
And then we're going to do some tapping on embracing and embodying the fifth dimensional state of being. How cool is this? Okay, sorry, I get very excited because I love these shifts. This is where we are heading. This is where the new earth paradigm is unfolding right here, right now. So um, I'm not going to go into that right now, but it's very exciting. So start by tapping on the inside of the eye. I release all attachment to the third dimension. I release 3D ways of being. I release my 3D views of the world. I release my 3D way of being. I release seeing the world from the third dimension. I might, I release the 3D way of living. I release being third dimensional. I release myself from 3D. I release the 3D way of living. I release being 3D. I release being third dimensional. I release the third dimensional state from my field. I release all three things 3D from my field. I release all attachment to 3D from my field. I release 3D from my field. Okay, let's get started on embracing and embodying the fifth dimensional way of being. Are you ready? Okay. Actually, before we do that, let's um I want you to go back and think about how um how prominent or predominant the 3D reality is in your field right now on a scale of zero to 10. Do you still feel really stuck in the third dimension? Are you feeling a shift, a lightness? Do you feel like you're ready to make a transition into 5D? Now, don't be worried. When you are 5D, you are still of this world. It's just that you live from a different place in this world. That's it. So, and it's a much nicer place. Sort of everything just works so much better when you are coming from the 5D space, the fifth dimensional version of reality. So starting by tapping on the inside of the eye. I choose to embody and embrace the fifth dimensional paradigm. I choose to start living in a state of 5D. I choose to embrace and embody the fifth dimension. I choose to live from the fifth dimensional state. I choose to be 5D. I'm ready to embrace and embody the fifth dimension. I choose to embrace and embody the fifth dimension. I am ready to transition into a 5D state of being. I choose to embody the fifth dimension in everything that I do. I choose to embody and embrace the fifth dimensional way of being. I choose to embody and embrace 5D. I'm excited about living from the fifth dimension. I'm excited about this state of 5D.
I love that I am transitioning into 5D. And I'm excited about being in the state of the frequency of the fifth dimension. I am ready to embody and embrace the fifth dimension. I fully and completely embody and embrace the fifth dimensional state. I fully and completely embody and embrace being in the fifth dimensional state. I choose to embody and embrace living from the fifth dimensional state. I fully and completely embody and embrace 5D. I fully and completely embody and embrace the fifth dimension. I make the transition into the fifth dimension with ease, grace and flow. I make the transition into 5D with ease, grace and flow. I am so happy and so grateful to be making the transition into 5D with ease, grace and flow. I make the transition into 5D with ease, grace and flow. I am now living from that fifth dimensional state with ease, grace and flow. Deep breath. And let it go. Another deep breath. And release it. Awesome. So I added that bit in at the end with ease, grace and flow because depending on where you're at in 3D, that transition into 5D could come with a bit of a clunk. Now, this is able to be um, actually directed by you. So if you are feeling a sense of discomfort, if you are feeling like the shift is too great, if you are feeling overwhelmed, then simply set the intention and ask, ask spirit, God, source, the divine, the angels, whatever it is, the universe. Say, can we please do this with ease, grace and flow? I'm feeling uncomfortable. Help me to feel more comfortable in the new state. Or can we back it off a bit? It's a bit too fast. You get to decide and you get to direct how this transition looks for you. So don't think that it has to be a particular way or that it has to be uncomfortable. But if you are feeling uncomfortable, then reach out to spirit, ask for help. You know, spirit, the angels, the ascended masters, um, the, your guides, they don't know how you are experiencing this transition. They might be able to observe you but they, they, they're not embodying this transition. They don't understand transitioning from the third dimension into the fifth dimension is actually a big deal for us humans. So really be kind to yourself. And if you want to sleep, get some more sleep. You might, you might be feeling a bit discombobulated. Um, you might need more sleep and more rest. You might be feeling tired. There's all sorts of things that could go with this transition. Just be kind to yourself. Be really kind and be aware of what is happening within you, around you and set the intention. Set the intention before you go to sleep at night to wake up in the fifth dimensional state. This is a big part of it. Your, your intention to be in 5D 
is actually what will make the decision about you shifting into 5D. And it's, um, it's important that you do everything that you can to make this transition easy on yourself. And during the day, just think, what am I doing right now? Am I coming from a place of the fifth dimension or am I still in my old 3D habits? It's a habit. Breaking those habits can take a little time. That's okay. This is a huge transition. And if you want to know more about 5D, then I really recommend that you have a look at a book called Wake Up in 5D. It's by Maureen J. St. Germain. And it's a really, really good book. It will help you to understand more what 5D is about because it's not a case of leaving your physical body. Fifth dimension isn't that much of a stretch away from what you currently know as reality because we know that it's not really reality, right? Um, but in order to really embrace the um, the new fifth dimensional way of being. It helps if you can understand it a bit better. And I found Wake Up in 5D exceptional for helping me to understand more about what those new frequencies, vibrations mean for me, mean for the way I show up and mean for, um, mean for how I live in the world and what that looks like. So I look forward to seeing you in more tapping. If you have enjoyed this, then please remember to like and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button. And if you are ready for more transformational content and ready to build a business, wealth, freedom and happiness in the fifth dimensional way of being, then come and join Global Online Business Academy where you get access to not just one, but two transformational platforms. The Global Online Business Academy will support you to be able to launch, build and scale a profitable business that you love and that is all 5D and as well as access to the Wealth Consciousness Movement, which is a, a library of EFT tapping and transformational videos that is going to rock your world and change your life. So I look forward to seeing you in the Global Online Business Academy community. Until next time, take care and bye for now.